And India today accesses the first images of the mystery girl who allegedly honey trapped fugitive diamond tear Mehul Choksi. Now, sources in Antigua have told India today that the woman you see on your television screen, she started meeting Choksi during morning and evening walks at Antigua. They became friends. Choksi and this lady, they started meeting each other. On the 23rd of May, the lady you see on your television screens, she invited Choksi to her apartment for a meeting. And according to Choksi's lawyer, that's the time he was allegedly abducted, taken to the harbor, and then on a yacht, they went 188 kilometers away to Dominica. It was in Dominica that the plan, according to the lawyer, was to bring Choksi back to India. But the question remains, where is this mystery woman you see on your television screen? Apparently, she'd picked up an apartment not far from Choksi's house, and then they started meeting morning and evening during walks, they started going out for walks together. They became friends and she invited Choksi to her house one day. They were also supposed to meet at an upscale harbour restaurant, a downtown restaurant for dinner. And Choksi was all dressed for that dinner in his car. His car was later found abandoned at the harbour. Now Antigua's Prime Minister, Gaston Brown told India Today that the apprehension was that he'd fled Antigua to Dominica with a woman. He told local journalists in, Dom in, in Antigua that it was a pleasure trip on a yacht. He and apparently this lady you see on your television screen, they left Antigua together. But where is this lady now remains the big question. Of course, his lawyers, Mehul Choksi's lawyers claim that he was abducted, that there were several men, some with an Indian accent, who were already present there at the lady's house when Mehul Choksi reached there. According to the lawyer, he was roughed up, assaulted, abducted, bundled up and bundled off in that yacht. And then he reached Dominica but where are those men and where is this mystery woman? Was she used to honey trap him? It remains, there is some clarity that's still required in this big story. But Mehul Choksi apparently did not have access to his lawyers initially in Dominica. I quickly want to cut across to India today's Munish Pandey who joins us for more on the story. Munish, tell us more. Who is this mystery woman? How does she become so central in the investigations at this point of time? Yeah, well, Gaurav, if you remember the first statement which came from the um, Antiguan Prime Minister, Mr. Uh, Gaston Brown, he said that Mehul Choksi was out with his girlfriend on a romantic trip and that is when he was caught in Dominica. Now, there were several questions that who this mystery woman is, but when I spoke to one of a very close source of Mehul Choksi, uh, what he told me that indeed Mehul Choksi was uh, with a girl on 23rd of May when he disappeared. He left his residence around 5.15 p.m. on 23rd May uh, in Jolly Harbour, and then he went to meet uh, this mystery woman um, at 6 p.m., uh, you know, uh, at a place called Marina. There was an apartment, but he went inside what has what is being alleged that there were other people possibly from India and Antiguan authorities. And the allegation is that uh, uh, Mehul Choksi was then kidnapped and then taken to a vessel where he was tortured and then he was arrested by the Dominican police. It looks like a case of honey trap, what the allegation is from Mehul Choksi's side. But uh, as far as the Indian official authorities are concerned, they have not given any statement in regards to this mystery woman. But Antiguan authorities are saying that this abduction theory of Mehul Choksi is not true. It is absolutely false. The Antiguan police chief has come on record. He has said that 
this is not true. And the Antigon PM, Antigon PM has said that uh, uh, Mehul Choksi went out uh, on a romantic trip with, her, with his girlfriend, but later he was caught in Dominica. Okay. Garo. And where is this mystery woman at this point of time? Yeah, well, Gaurav, there is no confirmation, but when I started, uh, you know, uh, verifying this information, then I got to know that uh, this mystery woman may not be in Antigua and she might be in some other country as of now. But still, there is no official confirmation from Antigua or Dominica or from India. And uh, so far, the uh, uh, lawyers of Mehul Choksi, I spoke to Vijay Agrawal also, he is saying that uh, there should be a probe that where this woman is, the allegations are absolutely baseless. She was not a girlfriend. She was basically an agent working with the Indian authorities who were involved in kidnapping uh, of um, uh, Mehul Choksi. But again, remember, he is an accused. He's absconding from last four years. So everything what his lawyers or Mehul Choksi is saying, it has to be taken with a pinch of salt. But these are the allegations by the lawyers of, uh, uh, you know, Mehul Choksi, who is still in Dominica. And uh, the hearing will take place, uh, you know, on 2nd of June. Is there clarity on where was Mehul Choksi's family when he went to meet this mystery woman um, and according to Antigua's Prime Minister went on a romantic cruise in a yacht? Where was the family? The family is still in uh, uh, um, Antigua, Gaurav. I spoke to several people in Antigua and I got a confirmation that at least wife of Mehul Choksi, she is still in Antigua and uh, there was a one house help of uh, uh, Mehul Choksi who lodged the complaint on 23rd of May that Mehul Choksi has went missing. But there are certain CCTV images around the area which I got, to, uh, got through uh, my Antigon sources is that uh, in those CCTV images, Mehul Choksi can be seen coming out of his residence in Jolly Harbour. It is a very posh area in Antigua. Most of the people who are, uh, uh, who are part of Antigua under the investment scheme, the billionaires and millennials, they stay in the same area. So he can be seen coming out from uh, Jolly Harbour area, but later he went to Marina to meet this woman who, according to Antigon PM, is Mehul Choksi's girlfriend, but according to, uh, you know, uh, lawyers of Mehul Choksi, uh, she is someone who was part of the abduction team. So he was Your coming out of the flat. So I'm just trying to understand this case and we'll, get, we'll have more clarity on this in a while from now. His wife was at the house. He came out, went to this upscale locality called Jolly Harbour, uh, met this mystery woman, but he came out of this building on his own. So which means the theory that he was abducted and beaten up inside that house may just not be true. Then uh, at this point of time, uh, Munish? Yeah, well, Gaurav, the sequence of the event is that uh, Mihul Choksi left his Jolly Harbour residence around 5.15 p.m. That was the last time he left his residence on 23rd of May. Then he came out of the area called Jolly Harbour. Then he went to meet this woman in an area called Marina. There was an apartment and according to people, uh, Mihul Choksi, who had known this woman from last uh, one and a half months, she was meeting frequently on morning walks and evening walks. And uh, then she befriended uh, Mehul Choksi. On 23rd of May, around 6 p.m., Mehul Choksi was called by this woman to meet at an apartment in Marina area of Antigua. And when he went to meet uh, this woman, the allegations are that there were certain people when Mehul Choksi came in, then he was beaten up, tortured, and then he was abducted. Later on, he was taken to a vessel uh, which was parked near a coastal um, uh, area in uh, Antigua. And, uh, you know, that was a 60 to 70 feet um, um, long vessel in which Mehul Choksi was kept. And on Tuesday, what we have been given to understand is that it was Tuesday when Mehul Choksi was, uh, you know, seen by the Dominican authorities and later he was arrested. As far as this angle of abduction is concerned, Antiguan authorities have denied these allegations. Dominican authorities have denied these allegations. These allegations have come only after Mehul Choksi, uh, uh, you know, hired the lawyers in Dominica, and later there were some um, alleged injury marks on his body near the eyes and, uh, you know, on his hand. And the appeal which has been filed before the Dominican court is that Mehul Choksi was illegally abducted, tortured, and illegally arrested by Dominica. And on that hearing, on that appeal, the case is still going on. As far as the Indian authorities are concerned, they are completely tight-lipped. Okay. They are saying that they are trying their best, the best possibility of Mehul Choksi to deport 
uh, him from Dominica that is being worked out with the Dominican authorities and several officials along with the uh, you know uh, court documents are still uh, in Dominica and they are trying to meet the Dominican authorities so that he can be deported because this is a golden opportunity for India to bring Mehul Choksi back. It indeed no, no. is. Of course, that matter comes up for hearing on Wednesday. But before we move on in this big story, let's listen in to what his lawyer has to say about this mystery woman and what actually transpired. Poonam Sharma with this conversation. जी एक महिला थी जो उनके पड़ोस में आकर रहती थी और फिर उन्होंने शिफ्ट कर लिया था तो उनकी फैमिली में भी आना जाना था कोई ये गर्लफ्रेंड तो वर्ड यूज कर दिया जाता है थोड़ी सी स्टोरी को स्पाइसी बनाने के लिए जबकि ऐसा नहीं है उनके घर आना जाना था उनकी फैमिली में आना जाना था तो इवनिंग में वॉक पे मिल जाते थे दोनों आपस में तो इन्होंने वो लेडी पहले शिफ्ट हुई थी और जो जो पूरा पता चल रहा है कि वो भी इस ऑपरेशन का हिस्सा थी तो को इन ये इनको ट्रैप करने के लिए वो लेडी को सीड किया गया था प्लांट किया गया था और जो है क्या कहते हैं पहले वो किसने प्लांट किया वॉक पे पहले मैं अपनी बात खत्म कर लू पिछली तो जो वॉक पे वो कंपनी कर लेती थी और उस दिन उन्होंने जब जब वो अपने मरीना के वहां पे उनके वहां पहुंचे और वो उन्होंने कहा कि आप घर में आइए तो उनको इन्वाइट किया तो वहां पर फिर ये लोग थे जिन्होंने उनको पिक करके ले जाया गया ये अब ये जब किसने प्लांट किया क्या किया अब ये बताएं ये काफी सारे सवाल इसमें हैं बिल्कुल पूनम जी आपने बिल्कुल ठीक कहा काफी सारे सवाल हैं पहला सवाल है वो अब लेडी कहाँ है याच से ले जाया गया वो याच कहाँ है जब वहां पे जो डोमिनिका की पुलिस है आई तो पुलिस को इन्फॉर्मेशन किसने दी वहां सीसीटीवी फुटेज कहाँ है वहां इतने सारे लोगों की एंट्री कैसे हो गई जो चैनल्स पे दिखाया जा रहा है कि दो इंडियंस थे वो काफी टाइम से डोमिनिका में रुके हुए थे करेबियन कंट्री में रुके हुए थे 45 डेज से वो लोग अब कहाँ हैं और अगर किसी को मोहल चौकसी को वहां से भागना था तो ये बताएं वो अपना पासपोर्ट तो लेके जाएंगे उनका पासपोर्ट एंटीगुआ पे उनके घर पे है तो और अब वो लेडी कहाँ गई तो ये जो सारी और फिर इनकी जो इंजरीज कैसे हुई और उनको मंडे को ही डोमिनिका पुलिस मिल चुकी थी तो फिर ये पूरे वर्ल्ड को ये बात वर्डनर देखो क्यों बताई गई सो वेरियस क्वेश्चंस दैट आर नाउ बीइंग रेज्ड बाय विजय अग्रवाल हु इज द लॉयर हु इज मेहुल चौकसी इज लॉयर एंड मुनीश देर इज नो क्लैरिटी ऑन सम ऑफ दीज एस्पेक्ट सो ही सेज दैट देर वॉज एन अबडक्शन ना इफ देर वॉज एन अबडक्शन हु अबडक्टेड हिम if he was taken to dominica against his will who took him to dominica against his will and how is it that where was he found in dominica by the dominican police how did he enter dominica where are the others is there any clarity in the bigger picture that's being formed javel gaurav you know uh, there is no clarity to be very frank there is no clarity because remember if he was abducted then are there any witnesses that he was abducted Vijay Agarwal is saying that it was a part of larger conspiracy and there are several people involved in this entire operation that is what he is alleging Indian national and Antiguan national but both these countries have denied these allegations later on when he was abducted and uh, you know I tried to check uh, the map of Antigua you know the entire coastal area is heavily guarded if any person has to be abducted then there will be witnesses or maybe maybe from someone uh, from the government authority who might spot them later on the second question is that he if he was taken you know to a vessel which was already parked uh, you know in the ocean then where is that vessel is is there any other witness who can say that mehul choksi was indeed abducted by certain people and then taken to vessel these allegations at this point of time are unverified the dominican authorities the antiguan authorities and as far as the indian authorities all these three authorities have denied these allegations but vijay agrawal is also raising some valid questions that if mehul choksi was spotted at the dominican coastal line in the north of dominica then where is the ship from where he came or where is the yacht who uh, you know ferried mehul choksi from antigua to dominica and why will mehul choksi uh, travel to a country where visa is required or on arrival visa is required then why there was no documentation with mehul choksi so these are the questions uh, you know which are coming to light but as far as the authorities are concerned they are denying these allegations but as far as vijay agarwal questions are concerned there is no concrete answer to these questions because none of the authorities government authorities in antigua dominica or india are uh, 
you know, replying to these answers, uh, these questions. Got okay, okay. Uh, stay on with me. Let's listen in to what Antigua's Prime Minister Gaston Brown had to say about Choksi, this mystery woman, and the fact that according to authorities in Antigua and Barbuda, he had actually fled, he'd actually gone on a pleasure cruise on the high seas. Let's listen in. The Dominican government has a free hand to act. In fact, Mihal, Mihal Choksi may have made a mistake to travel to Dominica. Mm -hmm. uh, the information that we're getting now is that he may have taken his girlfriend to Dominica, uh, probably to dinner to have a good time and so on, and got caught. Now, that would have been a monumental error because we are in Antigua because he's a citizen. We could not um, deport him. But for someone who's been so careful, Munish, with 13,500 crore rupees scam, a Punjab National Bank scam that he faces, the allegation that he faces, would, we have, would he have made that monumental error uh, of going to Dominica with his uh, girlfriend, as uh, the Prime Minister of Antigua puts it, without documentation? The lawyer says the passport is still at home, Munish. Yeah, well, Gaurav, these are some valid questions, but, uh, you know, even if you, if you go by what the lawyers are saying, again, there is a big question that Mehul Choksi is a diamond trader. He is a businessman who is now an accused, uh, uh, you know, in uh, 13,500 crore bank fraud case. Now, this woman, which the people are talking about, I still have the name of that woman. Uh, you know, I have the identity. She is nowhere related to any diamond business or... Uh, she has no business with Mehul Choksi, but why Mehul Choksi was indulging in friendship with someone who was staying in Antigua and uh, someone who was not of, uh, you know, any business fraternity. Why did he go and uh, go to meet, uh, you know, this woman on uh, uh, 23rd of May? These are some questions which are still unanswered, not even answered by the lawyers of Mehul Choksi. Now, as far as the mistake is concerned, remember Mehul Choksi, has been one step ahead from the authorities. In 2017, when he was committing the bank fraud, at the very same time, he was uh, using the documents to get citizenship of Antigua. In 2018, January 31, 2018, the FIR was lost by the Central Bureau of Investigation, but he left India on January 7, uh, 2018. Again, few days before the FIR could have been lodged. He was spotted in USA. India wanted US to extradite Mehul Choksi in June 2018, but one month before May 2018, he shifted his base to Antigua, and later on, everyone came to know that he is an Antiguan citizenship. Now, he is fighting this extradition case in uh, Antigua, so he has always stayed one step ahead from our agencies, or you can say the investigative agencies. But as far as this matter is concerned, this is, uh, you know, uh, Mehul Choksi is at a very tricky, uh, um, uh, you know, in a very tricky position. He is caught by a Dominican country, by a Caribbean country called Dominica, where he is an illegal, and the charges against Mihul Choksi is that he illegally was spotted in Dominica, and that is why he has been arrested. There might be several allegations of abduction theory, but remember, there is a red corner notice issued by the Interpol against Mihul Choksi, okay. and a person from any nationality can be caught by any agency of any country, and then he can be deported or extradited to the country where he is wanted. So India me. has a bright That's a very, chance. very big point you are making there, Muni. Stay with me on that big point on what next in this case. But look at these images. This is the mystery woman. Was she the lady, the young woman who befriended Mehul Choksi? They used to meet on morning walks and evening walks. She'd picked up an apartment not far from his. They became friendly. One day, she invited him home. And his lawyer claims that's where he was assaulted, abducted, bundled off in a yacht and brought to Dominica. But where is this mystery woman today? There is no clarity. And the other men, uh, again, no clarity on that aspect. But what next? Antigua has made it very clear. This man, Mehul Choksi, brought disgrace to, Dom to Antigua. The Prime Minister of Antigua has gone on record to say they don't want him back in Antigua. Dominica, the matter is now in court. He's in Dominica illegally. The allegation is he entered the country illegally. Now, what are the various theories that are doing rounds? Theory number one. This was a pleasure trip with a girlfriend that went all right. 
Theory number two, he was snared while attempting to escape to Cuba. Theory number three, he managed to escape Antigua. He feared deportation to India, but got caught in Dominica. Theory number four, he was forcibly taken to Dominica. Theory number five, he was using forged documents to travel, but he got caught at Dominica without effective documentation, now is in prison. But there are several unanswered questions in these multiple theories. The biggest question, that girl you see on your television screen, who is this mystery woman who is accompanying, who is alleged to be accompanying Mehul Choksi? Where is this woman as on date? Now, is there merit in Choksi's lawyer Vijay Agrawal claiming that the, that the woman or this woman was a honey trap? She actually lured him, played a role in his abduction, and now she's gone missing. How did Choksi and the others get to Dominica? Did they use a yacht? And if they did, where is that yacht today? Did Choksi and the girl forge papers to enter Dominica? There is no clarity on, the, on this aspect as of now. And Munish, this becomes extremely interesting. We don't know where this woman is. Both Antigua and Dominica are denying the abduction claim being made by the lawyer. What next in this case? Yeah, well, Goro, as far as the next move of Mehul Choksi is concerned, remember he has very limited options. He is an illegal in a third country, which is where he is not a uh, citizen. So the legal options which he has is to pursue the abduction theory. Because if he is able to prove that he was abducted by the Indian authorities, then there will be a concrete case for Mehul Choksi which will uh, indeed favor him. Now, the abduction theory which he is talking about, which the lawyers of Mehul Choksi are talking about, becomes a humanitarian ground and you very well know, Gaurav, that in any extradition or deportation case, the humanitarian grounds are very important as far as deportation is concerned. So Mehul Choksi is going to stick by his, uh, you know, version of abduction theory. But if that theory fails, then there are two legal options for Dominica. One is to deport uh, uh, Mehul Choksi back to Antigua and one is to deport Mehul Choksi back to India. Now, as far as deporting back to Antigua is concerned, remember Mehul Choksi was arrested on the basis of yellow notice issued by Interpol on the request of uh, Antigua. So he can be deported back to Antigua, where there is already there are two cases of extradition against Mehul Choksi. Now, as far as deporting back to India is concerned, it becomes very interesting because there is a red notice which is superior than the yellow notice. And in the red notice, it is very clear that Mehul Choksi is involved in money laundering, is involved in criminal conspiracy, he is involved in bank fraud. So based on that red notice, Mehul Choksi can be deported to India also. And deportation is, uh, you know, it is not a lengthy process, it is a very small process. It depends on the diplomatic relationship between the two countries and the legal, uh, you know, legal formalities. So as far as India's case is concerned, it is very strong, but it will be end of the day on the Dominican High Court where the matter is being pursued and if the Dominican High Court gives okay. the order in favor of Antigua or, um, uh, you know, India, then he can be deported to any of these Stay countries. with me. Let's try and make sense of this big story which is now important in India, important in Dominica and important even in Antigua. And joining me now is our foreign affairs editor, Geeta Mohan. Geeta, you spoke to the Prime Minister of Antigua and Barbuda, Gaston Brown, and he says Mehul Choksi is a man who's brought disgrace to his country. He also says that there was no abduction. He claims that he went on a pleasure cruise with this mystery woman. So what happens next, Geeta? <laughs> Well, it is a very strange case, Gaur. Look at the documents that we've accessed. Uh, the reports that came in of the boat that uh, uh, that allegedly was used uh, by Mehul Choksi has names that are different. Uh, nationalities have changed in 45 days from UK uh, to Indian. So there's a lot of mystery uh, around how Mehul Choksi really landed in Dominica. And now with Munish... Uh, Munish's story, it has come to light that he, in all probability, could have been abducted. Having said that, Gaurav, the facts of the matter is that India wants the man. He is somebody who's wanted for fraud, a huge economic fraud. Uh, Antigua realizes that and recognizes that and is no longer happy having him in Antigua. 
Dominica has been apprised of what really uh, has happened in India in the Indian courts. All the documents now uh, have been handed over to the Dominican authorities for them to take a look and then to decide. But the larger question over here is what is going to happen in the Dominican courts uh, on Wednesday? Uh, that's when the decision will be taken by the Dominican court uh, as to whether if uh, Mehu Choksi should be repatriated to Antigua as he's an anti national, or whether he should be handed over to the Indian authorities as part of the red corner notice that exists. Okay, because uh, an, internet red, uh, an Interpol red corner notice is extremely serious, and as far as authorities in Dominica are concerned, this man entered their country illegally. So the lawyers may claim he's abducted, but is there any evidence to suggest that he has been abducted, Geeta, or none whatsoever? Well, there are there, there are no um, evidences, so to say, for the, to claim whether he was abducted or not, uh, or for that matter, whether he fled on his own or not. Given that uh, there is no record of Mehu Choksi having legally entered Dominica, uh, we know there are names that have done the rounds uh, of lists of passengers uh, who were entered Dominica, and in all probability, they're linking linking those uh, two. Mehul Choksi, which means that there is a case of forgery as well. But who committed that forgery is the question. Uh, the the bruises, the uh, beating that uh, and the uh, and the torture uh, allegedly that uh, Mehul Choksi has suffered at the hands of his abductor is something that the Dominican courts are going to take into account. And uh, 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 they are more inclined. We do not really know, but much more inclined to see what the laws of the uh, two countries really are going to be like over here in terms of him being an Antigua national and it being a very important issue. So uh, there there are uh, voices within Dominica who are saying that he should be repatriated to Antigua. But more importantly, Gaurav, there are strong voices within Antigua and Barbuda who are, say, who are saying that, the, that this is illegal. It is not constitutional. So according to the constitution of Antigua and Barbuda, our opposition leader, Harold Lovell, who spoke to us, has questioned uh, the action by uh, Gaston Brown, Prime Minister of okay. Antigua, saying that he cannot ask uh, uh, Dominica to hand over an Antiguan national to India, that he should come. They're not on the side of Mehul Choksi, but he should face the laws over here, get the citizenship revoked, and then hand over uh, Mehul Choksi to India. Well, that depends whether he went on his own or if he was abducted. Uh, can a man who's trying to illegally leave a country and the initial report that seemed to indicate that he was trying to flee to Cuba, can that man take advantage of Antiguan law, especially when Antigua's prime minister has gone on record to say that this man fled the, left the country with his girlfriend? Well, we'll track that story closely. But let's get you a background of this case. It was in January 2018 that Mehul Choksi fled India. It was in May 2018 that Mehul Choksi was apparently in the United States of America. Agencies tried to track him in the United States of America and then he fled to Antigua. Now, till the 23rd of May 2021, he was in Antigua. Around 5.15 on the 23rd of May, Choksi was seen leaving his house in a car that was subsequently recovered by the Antiguan police near the harbour. A missing persons complaint was filed on the 27th of May when Choksi was finally traced to Dominica. So there is no end to the trouble of the fugitive diamond tear Mehul Choksi. Antigua and Barbuda's Prime Minister Gaston Brown has said that Mehul Choksi left Antigua on his own with his girlfriend but was caught in Dominica. India today has accessed some photographs where he is seen behind bars showing some injury marks on his body. His lawyers claim that he was abducted, assaulted and now arrested in Dominica. Munish Pandey with this report. Trouble mounts for fugitive businessman Mehul Choksi lodged in a Dominican jail. On Saturday, the first images of the diamond tear surfaced from behind the jail. 
A bruised Choksi could be seen with a red eye and lacerations on his arm. A pale shadow of his earlier self, Choksi appeared visibly thin and almost dazed behind bars. The PNB scam accused's lawyer alleged that he was abducted from Antigua and forcibly taken to Dominica and was badly beaten up. A claim denied by the Antiguan police chief. So we have no information, we have no evidence that he was forcefully removed from Antigua. And even in the assertion made by the attorney, there is no such truth to that that any police force in Antigua was involved in that. We had no involvement in any movement of him from Antigua to Dominica or wherever he left him. Antigua PM Gaston Brown, however, claimed that Choksi was on a pleasure trip to Dominica with his girlfriend, but was captured there. He even claimed that Choksi has been bribing Antiguan opposition to cut a deal for freedom. The Dominican government has a free hand to act. In fact, Mihal Mihal Choksi may have made a mistake to travel to Dominica. Mm -hmm. uh, the information that we're getting now is that he may have taken his girlfriend to Dominica. Uh, probably to dinner to have a good time and so on, and got caught. What is happening here, you know, is that they are literally defending the campaign money. <laughs> so here's a situation in which um, Choksi had the best law firm representing him, but some UPP um, individuals befriended him, started to take money from him, small contributions, and he promised them big contributions um, since they told him that they will get um, their UPP um, lawyers to get him off the hook, and that if they win the next general elections, that they will protect him. Now an Indian plane awaits for Choksi in Dominica, with documents from Indian courts to confirm that Choksi is a fugitive, which may lead to his deportation to India. I can confirm that there is a jet there. My understanding is that the Indian government has sent certain um, documentation from the courts in India to confirm um, that, you know, Mr. Choksi is indeed a fugitive. And my understanding, the documentation will be utilized in the court case that will be heard out of today, the court hearing uh, next Wednesday. But opposition leader in Antigua slammed his government for requesting direct extradition of Mihil Choksi to India, claiming that Choksi is a citizen of Antigua. The fact is, the process started here in Antigua, quite rightly, with a request from the Indian government. Mr. Choksi isn't just or wasn't just located in Antigua, he's a citizen of Antigua and Barbuda. How can you send someone to a country where they have no citizenship and no right to reside? It has to be Antigua and Barbuda because he's not a citizen of India. This is a golden opportunity for India to bring back Mihul Choksi because if he goes back to Antigua, then the extradition proceeding will take years to get over. While Mihul Choksi is using the alleged torture marks on his body to avoid coming back to India, the Indian authorities, according to sources, are already in Dominica to convince the authorities and court there that he is a mastermind of a very serious crime and he should be deported back to India as soon as possible. With Gita Mohan, this is Munish Pandey in Delhi for India Today.